What's up guys, Takedown here, Wrestlemania 34 is just around the corner, so today I decided I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts and predictions of the Wrestlemania 34 matches that are confirmed as of right now, there's some more on the way uh, that are in the works, but as I'm recording this, it is March 26th, just so you guys know, if you're watching this afterwards and say you missed some, this is when I'm recording it, so I just wanted to share that briefly with you guys. So let's just get right into it, just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on match cards this year as of what's confirmed. I have the list in front of me. So let's just get right into it. So first up, we have Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. It's the tournament finals. Now what happened is, all with all the Enzo Amore stuff that was happening, they had to vacate the title, which I understand. Uh, Cedric Alexander was set to fight Enzo Amore. But because of what happened, he couldn't. So it's nice to see that he got into the that he's now in the finals, and I really think he's going to win the match. At least I hope so. I think he deserves a little bit of push. He's really, in my opinion, he's one of my favorite cruiserweights. I also like Brian Kendrick, but he's really good, Cedric Alexander. So I would say prediction number one would be Cedric Alexander wins the cruiserweight championship. Moving on, we have the Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. As you guys know, as I've said before, if you guys watch my 10 Hall of Famers, Alexa Bliss is on my list to be in the future Hall of Fame. But I don't know with this match. Nia Jax is a beast and can be a beast in the ring. She is bigger than Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is really small compared to Nia Jax. I really want Alexa Bliss to win. I am a huge fan of Alexa Bliss. She is amazing in my opinion. But something tells me Nia Jax is going to win just for the pure size of her and the strength. Uh, unless Alexa Bliss can pull something like out of her sleeve and win, I think Nia Jax is going to win. But my prediction, I'm just going to say Alexa Bliss because I think she's going to do something special. And it's going to be shocking. And she, I think she's going to defeat Nia Jax. So we shall see. But that's my prediction for number two is Alexa Bliss is going to retain her Women's Championship. Moving on. Now, as of right here, I'm on WWE's website. It doesn't say if it's for the championship yet, but something tells me it's going to be, and I'll explain why I think it's going to be in a second. We have Sheamus and Cesaro versus Braun Strowman and a partner of his choosing. Now, it doesn't say, like I said, the title, it doesn't say it's on the line, but we can just predict that depending on whose partner is, it's going to be. I think because Braun Strowman didn't get a shot for the Universal title, uh, at Mania, which I think it's well-deserved as of now. He's a beast in the ring. But depending on his opponent, it's going to be for the championship, and, or his partner, sorry. It, it's going to be for the championship. And I think if I had to choose a partner for him, I think they're going to, because they have nothing else going right now for Braun Strowman, or the guy I'm about to say, which is Bray Wyatt. I think they're going to do something like that just to have a tag team partner for him, somebody who's tagged with him in the past. I think it's going to be really unique. And if it's for the championship, I would say they would win. We shall see moving forward. Maybe I'll give you guys an update. But as of right now, I'm going to say Braun Strowman and the partner of his choosing. And I predict it's going to be Bray Wyatt. Literally, it could be anybody. But that would be really interesting to see it, Bray Wyatt. I don't know. Moving on, we have the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Royale match. It was uh, named the uh, Great Moolah. Memorial bat match and a lot of people hated that because of the stuff Mula did after the after the WWE so They changed it to the first ever raw women's battle royale, which I do th I think that's better fit for it anyways, but Nia Jax would have been one of my picks Oscar would would have been one of my picks Alexa Bliss would have been one of my picks They're all in their own matches. So I would have to say It's either gonna be something like Naomi or it's going to be a returning, because you guys seen it through a Rumble, there was some people, uh, woman wrestlers, who returned just for the match. So I think it could be something like that, where somebody returns. Or it's going to be Nikki Bella, I think she might make a return at the WrestleMania, which I think would be amazing. But either that or uh, Natalia. So those are my predictions on who's going to win it. The Andre the Giant Battle, um, Memorial Battle Royale, if I had to predict that one. Which that one you always get a push. Usually months down the line, you'll get a like a championship shot, or you'll you'll get something uh, for winning the match. So, who I think is going to win it, I might get hate for it, but I'm going to say Big Cass. I think he deserves a push, and I think him winning this match 
later on in the future, months down the line, I think he's going to have a push. So Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale, I'm going to predict. Big cast. Hopefully we shall see. And then for the Intercontinental and the United States, they're both triple threat matches. One thing I like that WrestleMania especially, I don't like having a whole bunch of one-on-one -on -one matches. I really hate when WWE does that. So we get some triple threats this year, which is amazing in my opinion. So start off the United States Championship. We have the champion, Randy Orton, which I wasn't really behind him winning it. But I do think it's nice to see that the top dogs, if they're not in the World Championship picture, they can still win a title. So I do like that about it. But he's going to be facing Bobby Roob and Jinder Mahal. So to me, it's like a Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal for the World Championship yet again. But just adding Bobby Roode and changing the title. So anybody in this match, I'd be happy if they won. Orton, it'd be nice, but I think the other people deserve it maybe a little bit more. I don't know how to word it, but I would love to see Bobby Roode win it back, be a two-time U.S. champ. Or I think Jinder Mahal, if he wins it, I don't think he should hold it for too long. Not like he held the WWE Championship. I think he held that for too long. But I'm going to say Bobby Roode just to say Bobby Roode because I like Bobby Roode in the ring. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship, The Miz, who I'm a huge fan of, versus Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. I've never been a fan of Finn Balor, but this match also reminds me of Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for the Universal Championship. It's going to be interesting to see. Who wins? I'm going to say Seth Rollins because I would like to see Seth Rollins the Intercontinental Champion. I think that would be an amazing, maybe a short run, but interesting. Or I think The Miz is going to retain it. But I'm going to say Seth Rollins. I don't think Finn Balor can do much in this match. Moving on, we have SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. Asuka won the Women's Royal Rumble at Royal Rumble. And where it seems like the uh, WWE officials... Just made her go for the United or the Raw Women's Championship. She has now made her decision, and she's going for the Raw or the SmackDown Women's Championship, which I think is amazing. And I think Charlotte is going to lose. I'm going to predict right now, Oscar is going to win. She's going to win the SmackDown Women's Championship, and I think she's going to be moving after WrestleMania to SmackDown if she does win. It's a better fit. I wanted her on SmackDown anyways. Whenever she made her uh, going from NXT to the main roster, I think she would have done better on SmackDown. And I think it's her time to win it. I'm going to say she's going to win it. Next up, we have Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. I would have liked to see Kurt Angle versus Triple H and then Ronda Rousey versus Stephanie McMahon. But because it's Ronda Rousey's first match in the WWE, maybe they wanted to do it just so she doesn't knock somebody out. I don't know. But I really think that, in my opinion, I think a lot of people are going to agree with me. Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey are going to win. It's going to be interesting to see what her attire is because she's, it's her first WWE match. She came from the UFC, so I'm really happy with that match has been made. Like I said, I would rather two single matches, but I do understand it's uh, there's going to be a lot of matches this year's WrestleMania, and there's a few more that might be confirmed. So I'm going to say Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. Next up, we have the main titles. Start things off, we're going to have the WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, AJ Styles... Uh, defended his title in the SmackDown Six Pack Challenge. He beat six other peoples to retain his championship. Really happy he did. Love him as a champion. He gets his WrestleMania moment as the WWE Champion. That to me is amazing on its own. Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble. He's going for the WWE Champion. AJ Styles. And this to me is one of those dream matches that I know before they came to the WWE they fought. But it's, I think, the first big match they've had against each other in the WWE. I want AJ Styles to win, but I also want Shinsuke to win. I'm going to say, my prediction is going to be Shinsuke is going to win. And then AJ Styles is going to win it back in the rematch. That's my prediction right now. Shinsuke is going to win the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And the last match confirmed, so far, the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Rumor has it that Roman Reigns, I guess it was leaks, that Roman Reigns is going to win this match after Mania. Him and Seth Rollins are going to get into a rivalry and they're going to, Seth Rollins, I guess, is going to win the championship down the line. Hopefully that happens because that sounds amazing. But I love Brock Lesnar. I think Brock Lesnar is amazing. I just wish he wasn't part-time. I wish he was full-time in the WWE. So with that being said, I know his contract's close to being ending 
And I think that Roman Reigns is going to win so we can have, once again, a full-time champion, a champion. I don't think people understand that, the fans that are complaining that Roman Reigns is getting a push. If Roman, if Roman Reigns wins the Universal Champion, we are going to have a full-time Universal Champion, which is something we haven't had in over a year. So even though it's Roman Reigns, I'm a fan of Roman Reigns to begin with, but even though it's Roman Reigns, I think everybody should be happy the champion is going to be full-time once again. I think there's going to be a rematch down the line, but I think Brock Lesnar is going to be leaving the WWE soon. So this is all the matches that are confirmed as of right now, March 26th for WrestleMania. We should see some more stuff confirmed. Apparently, or from what I see, John Cena challenged The Undertaker to a match. It's not yet been confirmed. By now, I think they should have if they want to keep selling more and more tickets. Like, that'd be a sale right there. A lot of people would buy tickets just to see Cena versus Taker. I think years ago, this match should have happened when Cena or when Undertaker was relevant and competing uh, weekly in SmackDown and such. But I think if this match happens... My prediction is, if Cena wins, he's going to go heel. If Undertaker wins, well, I mean, it's it's Undertaker's last match. So, I'm going to say, oh, I don't even know. Then again, if Undertaker wins, I think Cena is going to be close to being done as well. I just have a feeling about that. So, I'm going to say Undertaker is going to win so he can go out and retire on a win. I think that makes more sense than losing last year to Roman Reigns. So... I'm going to say Undertaker's going to win if he does have a match against Cena this year. But this has been the WWE WrestleMania 34 prediction video. Comment down below who you think is going to win out of all these matches. Comment down below what you would like to see or what changes you would have had, you would have preferred for WrestleMania. But I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.